Well, good morning and welcome back to the channel. It's not very often that we do a promotion for various products. Um, we've only done a couple and we're very choosy about what we do product reviews for. We've been invited by Jackery to do a review of their power bank. It's the solar generator and it's the Explorer 500 and the associated 100 watt solar panel. We're going to get inside. It's quite cold. Although it's sunny, it's winter. It's quite cold out here. So let's go in the van and have a look at it. Well, here is the box that the Jackery comes in. It's the solar generator, uh, the 500 watt version. So it's the uh, Explorer 500 and it comes boxed like this when, you, um, when it arrives in the post to you. Okay, unpacked. This is what the Jackery looks like. Now we'll run through what features this, this uh, box has, what it can do for you, and why we think this is a game changer for anybody with a caravan, camper van, motorhome, or van conversion. Really has changed the way we think and the way that we charge our various gadgets. And boy, do we have a lot of gadgets these days. There's a neoprene bag that comes with all of the cables that you need to link your um, Jackery power generator to the mains and to other uh, recharging sources and then the folding solar panel which is on our bench here quite compact very flat and thin and uh, I'll show you that we'll uh, put that together and show you how that works So here we are then, back in the warm, I've got the heater running, you might just be able to hear the fan running on the heater, so apologies for that, but it is really cold, it's just under freezing point outside this morning. Although the sun is bright and beautiful, good for picking up some solar energy. Let's have a look at the, the box, I'm going to park myself on a bench here and we'll show you uh, just what the Jackery has got and what it can do. Well here is the Jackery 500 Explorer and uh, first of all, the weight. It's around about six and a half kilograms in weight and that's about 14 pounds in old money and uh, so it's, it's quite a heavy thing although it is a lithium iron battery which um, if you were to have a normal car battery or a, you know a lead acid battery it would be considerably heavier and this is shaped and uh, nicely uh, sized and packaged to be portable. Now it's not something that you're going to carry on a hike, I know that, but certainly if you want to uh, move around in the awning and uh, go out for a picnic, it's not unreasonable to think that you could take it with you uh, for short distances anyway. Let's have a look at the features on this. Um, nice uh, case, uh, good uh, solid carry handle here and on the sides there's vents because the unit does have a fan inside for cooling and uh, on the back it's just a ribbed back there's nothing to see there around this side another vent and then we go full circle and uh, here we have the uh, front control panel and all of the plugs and, and buttons and so on just to mention on the end where this end here there is a light uh, which is like a torch and you can hold that for three seconds and you get the SOS um, quite handy if you want to look underneath the van at night, I guess, or if you're uh, changing a wheel. Uh, let's hope not. But um, certainly that, um, that feature is uh, good to have. Now, the most important thing, of course, is, is having power when you need it. And uh, this little unit here is really going to do that for you. We've had this sitting outside uh, in the cold and uh, we've used it on two or three occasions and it's still got 86% charge in it. So it really does hold the charge for a good while. It will degrade over time, but we've not experienced any problems at all. We're just leaving it out in, in the camper van uh, in storage and uh, when, next time we get it out, presto, away we go again. So on the front, as you may have just seen, if I press the little button there, it lights up the display that gives you an indication of how much charge is left in the unit, 86% on this occasion. So you've got an input here, which uh, is where you can plug in your mains charger, your car charger or van charger uh, from 12 volts, and also the solar panel. And we'll come to that in a moment. A little lower down, you've got the 12 volt cigarette lighter style uh, plug there, outlet, which has got a little cover on. 
these little outlets here, um, we've not used these. I understand that uh, you can get lighting, um, you know, LED lighting and so on with plugs on like this. We've not found those useful at all and haven't uh, used them. But if I did want to use any of these uh, plugs, I just press the little DC button there. The green light comes on and those sockets are now live. And you press again to switch them off to isolate them. In the centre of the unit you've got three uh, USB-A, 5 volt and 2.4 amp USB sockets. Very, very handy for the cameras, laptops and all other sorts of devices, phones and so on. And you'll notice the screen has just gone off. It does go off to save battery uh, after a few seconds. And then on the far right you've got what is probably the most important part for me anyway, is the, um, the UK uh, 220 to 240 volt AC socket. Now we use uh, uh, this for just about everything don't we uh, these days and again once you press the AC button the light will come on and this has got a pure sine wave inverter included in this box. That's a bit technical for me. All it means is that it's, it will create 220 to 240 volt AC power with a pure sine wave, which is good for your electronic devices and so on. Um, some earlier inverters weren't pure sine wave and they did cause a few problems with our technical gadgets. So that's what the Explorer 500 looks like. We store that underneath one of the benches when the van is in storage. Um, we have taken in the house as well because over Christmas, believe it or not, we've been powering some of our Christmas lights. We don't have enough sockets in the house to be able to power up all the fairy lights and uh, little uh, sparkling Santa Clauses and things. So we've got uh, a few USB devices and, and lights on the tree and so on and they were powered by the Jackery over Christmas. All we needed to do during the day when the tree wasn't on was to uh, take the Jackery to a socket outlet in the kitchen and we plugged it in in the kitchen for a few hours just to top it up. But believe me, that Jackery would have gone for several days before it needed a recharge um, just with a Christmas tree and a few other small items attached to it. Lots of other uses for the Jackery around the house. I mean, we know that um, people use power tools with them. This one is a 500 watt AC uh, inverter. Uh, some of the, its competitors only have 300 watt. And depending on the size, if you go to the larger version of the Jackery, you can get up to 1000 uh, watt uh, AC, which will power things like 750 watt kettles that you have in camper vans and so on. If we're off grid, we tend to use the gas for heating water on, on the kettle and making a cup of tea. But um, there are lots of other uses that the Jackery can uh, do for you to uh, preserve your onboard battery. So before we plug anything into our Jackery, let's have a, look, a quick look at the solar panel. We've used this outside a couple of times now. Uh, as I said, it is winter time, so we haven't had real, really the full benefit of the so solar panel. Let's take a quick look at it and unfold it and I'll show you how it works. Now, so as I said at the start, the Jackery is quite a slim uh, piece of kit. It's not that heavy. Uh, it, it's fairly uh, durable and has this canvas type uh, backing. It's got good magnetic clips at the top, just here, that hold the, the unit together. And uh, these Velcro attached little arms which pop out so that you can stand it and angle it towards the sun. And on this side of, of the solar panel, there's another uh, leg that you can unca uncatch from the uh, Velcro. And then here there's a pouch that you can unzip and inside of here is some instructions. I always leave instructions in here. Um, there's a, a, an outlet here for a USB-C and a USB-A, which you can plug your mobile phone directly into the solar, solar panel or your tablet or a gadget of such. And then uh, the cable here, which you unravel and the plug there goes straight in the side of the Jackery. And that ch charges the Jackery with the solar energy. So this being a 100 watt solar panel in two sections is half the size of the 200 watt solar panel that we have on the roof of our van. But the beauty of having this lightweight portable solar panel in the storage compartment or wherever you keep it in your camper van is that you can 
angle it towards the sun and in tests we achieved as much with this portable solar panel from Jackery as we did from the solar panel on the roof with our camper van. And the reason for that is you can put it on an angle and you can point it directly at the sun so you're capturing the most efficient sun rays onto the panel and picking up as much solar power as you can. Now this unit fits lovely and neatly under the bench when we're driving along in the lounge here but I'll show you where we park it when we're driving along and how we plug it in to charge it whilst we're driving. So here's the neoprene bag that comes with the kit that you get and, and uh, uh, it comes with this 12 volt charger with the cigarette lighter adapter on one end and then um, the plug on the other end which goes into input here. And if I was to be charging from mains, the kit also comes with a full mains adapter like this one, like you would, you would see with a laptop or another piece of portable equipment. And ours has the usual UK uh, mains plug on the end. Now this is where we store it when we're driving along. Our little dog crate here is sitting here at the moment. Normally that would be um, set up here in the center of the aisle in the center of the camper van but uh, we put our jackery on this little shelf here there is a socket just below it so we can plug in and charge it from there when we're on hookup and that's uh, nicely tucked out of the way and uh, as you can see for demonstration purposes only the uh, unit is currently charging on the 12 volt now I wouldn't leave this on like this because it's just charging my vehicle battery but the cable runs through and onto the dashboard and with the engine running that's perfectly sound way of charging up your jackery whilst you're on the move. One final thing to say about charging is that we've not discharged the jackery totally all the time we've had it. We've tended to top it up so we'll use it for our gadgets and we'll use it for powering up various things and then when we're at the end of the day or after a couple of days we'll just naturally plug it in to top it up. Certainly if we're on the move from site to site we've found that plugging it into the dashboard while we're driving is a good way of topping it up without even realizing you're doing so. When on hookup of course straight into the main socket and uh, just leave it to top up. We're told that from flat which is about 10% capacity when it gets down to about 10 or 5% it will automatically cut out and incidentally the voltage the 12 volt voltage will keep constant right the way through so it won't vary and gradually die down as the battery discharges it will stay constant until such time as it's discharged and then the jackery will cut out to protect itself. Now from flat we're told it will take seven hours whether it be on the vehicle charging on the vehicle or whether it be uh, mains it will take about seven hours to charge from flat to full. Now you know it's a good while and uh, certainly on the solar panel we're told again it would be seven hours uh, charge and that's in good sunlight so if you've only got an hour and a half or two hours of you know not so good sun the solar panel is not going to put very much in but it, at least it's something so that may get you by particularly if you're camping out in the field in the middle of nowhere you're going to need that little extra bit of power so uh, don't forget it's pretty portable So let's have a little look at one or two of the gadgets and there are lots of them. I can't possibly get all the things out that I use the Jackery for charging. Um, the, while you're charging the Jackery incidentally you can plug things in and uh, take, take power out of the Jackery whilst you're charging other items. Let's have a look at a few of those things that I've been charging up. So here we are then with an array of different portable devices all being plugged into the Jackery Explorer 500. First of all, we've got the laptop that's charging there at the moment. And next to that, we've got the little earbuds that are on charge in their little box. And my GoPro is also on charge. And that's uh, plugged into the Jackery here on the USB ports here. I've also put an adapter in so that I've got an extra two USBs and some extra power for 12 volt here. 
Um, I've got my tablet, my iPad that I have with me at all times. And on standby here, I've just got another lead. I can connect this one in as well. Let's, let's, let's do that as well. This is the little uh, Rode microphone charging box. And there we are, they're all charging away. <laughs> Quite a tangle of wires, I know, just for demonstration purposes, really. Um, this would be normally tucked away out of the way so it's not uh, on the bench, but um, uh, here we go. We've got 86% uh, charge, and I don't know if you can see that, but it's drawing output of 26 watts. So that's with all of those gadgets. Or oh, did I mention the mobile phone over here as well? That's uh, also charging as well over there. So, uh, quite a few things that you can plug in all at once and uh, what I could do if I wanted to is to uh, put the mains adapter which I've got here uh, just under here and plug that into the Jackery and because I'm currently on hookup I could also top up the unit there and it should show an input there so we're currently we've got an input of 85 watts and an output of 27 watts. So whilst we're drawing off power for all these gadgets, we're still topping up the Jackery at the same time. <laughs> well, I know you're thinking that was quite a bird's nest of wires there, but I just loaded the whole, all of the ports up with something plugged into them so that you could see, you know, just how much you can charge at one time. And, and the unit's just sitting there as if, well, so what, you know, <laughs> that's what it's for. Brilliant piece of kit. Now, one of the biggest benefits we've found um, when we've been off-grid, and we've done off-gridding now for 20, 30, 35 years, um, with caravans, with tents, um, with we had a trailer tent for a short period. In those days, none of this was available. You either had an electric hookup, which a lot of the time was rare on campsites when we started. Now it's the thing to have. If you're going on a campsite, have you got electric? Yes, you've got 240 volts. So uh, you've got mains electric to hook up to. With, with uh, um, what people call wild camping or off-grid camping, you can go to um, behind the pub with your camper van or you can go uh, in a field, a farmer's field or just by the roadside if you're stopping for a, a cup of tea or anything and uh, you want to use the, the Jackery, it's right there ready to go. Now most people will say well fair enough but I've got a leisure battery in my camper van I don't need a Jackery. Well that's true to a certain extent until you start thinking about how much you're going to use your leisure battery. It's very, very cold at the moment. The last thing I want to do when I'm out this weekend is to run out of battery power. We're going to be off grid and we're behind a pub. Well, what a great weekend. But we'd be totally spoiled if we were to run, run out of power on our leisure battery or if we couldn't start the engine of the van. It would, it would just be a disaster. So Jackery steps in with the solution every single time. Okay, so here's the TV and uh, below it, is the Jackery. Let's get it all plugged in. And here we go with the TV on. We've got Carol showing us the weather. Before we get uh, a copyright strike from the BBC, I'll just show you the sound bar on the bottom there and the TV connectors as well. Both are normally plugged into the, the leisure battery on the van. And uh, the, today I've plugged them into the Jackery. And as you can see, they're going into the uh, outlet there and currently drawing 26 watts leaving 85% of the battery charge. So it's gonna be a while before I need to worry about uh, whether I can see the end of the film or not, or whether I can uh, watch another half of the football match that I was uh, halfway through watching. So that's about it about the Jackery 500, the solar generator and the solar panel. And uh, it, we're going to get a lot of use out of this and there's no doubt about it that we've found already that we've changed the way we do things. We've protected ourselves from discharging our leisure battery and the onboard van battery and we've doubled the capacity of what we've got in um, charge in terms of leisure battery. Um, we've also got the ability to take our Jackery with us wherever we go, in the car or even in the home. Uh, we can use it for various portable appliances, including our Christmas decorations. But um, 
there's so many things that you can do and uh, in most vans there's limited space so you can take it or you can leave it at home you don't have to have two or three big leisure batteries in your camper van or in your caravan um, use a portable one like this so much easier and you can keep an eye on it as well Well, I've come in the warm now inside and um, getting ready for our next trip which starts tomorrow. Thank you for watching and hope you've uh, learned something about Jackery and their range of products. Uh, they are always having discounts and promotions so I'll put a link in the description below to their Amazon shop where you can find out what the price is currently. And if you've got any comments or any questions that you'd like to ask, drop a comment in this comment section and I'll see what I can do or maybe I can answer your questions. Until next time, thank you very much for watching and take care. Bye bye.